Tom Cruise is old school. And Tom Cruise, he understands what it means to entertain in the old school way. A Billy, a Billy, a Billy, and he and and, and I'm so happy because you know the, the Maverick. I think it beat that bomber's film Elvis. That's look, Elvis. Look at that. Look at that. Top Gun Maverick. I've watched it twice, and I'm going to watch it a third time. You know, I I plan to watch it with my cousin um, a third time sometime next week. So by the time it gets, out, I'll probably end up watching this about four or five times. You know, because it's like it's it is it is that movie. It is, this is the best summer blockbuster since, to be honest, I cannot think of a summer blockbuster that was as, as good as this. Because for me, like, I told you, I was not a fan of Infinity War. Best summer blockbuster since the, the first Avengers. Yeah. Best blockbuster since the first Avengers. Yeah. Which was, what was that? 2012. Yeah. Best since Avengers. Since Avengers, there's not been a summer blockbuster as good as this. Um, it's amazing. Like in terms of just where this, it's like an event where this is a must watch. And I would argue this is better than Avengers because Avengers was cool and everything, but you know the CG monsters and everything. What is film about? What are movies about? It's about magic. I just go watching the thing. John Carpenter's The Thing, made in 1982, and I'm watching and I'm thinking that how the hell did they do that? That is the beauty about movies is how the hell did they do that? So as I'm watching the thing, I'm like, how the hell did they do that? As I'm watching Top Gun Maverick, I'm like, how the hell did they do the plane stuff? Because this couldn't skin do the AI. Because I'm like, I know a lot of the stuff is CG. That's how you know a really good director. Is like, I couldn't tell what bits were CG and what were in CG because it was so seamless and so well done. Um... And because you're just watching and saying, that's fine. How the hell did they do this plane thing? How the hell did they do this stuff? So that is what, that's what the movie is about. That's what going to the cinema is about. It's like, it is the power of wonder, the power of all the power. Like, what the hell, yeah, how the hell did they do this, man? And Tom Cruise. Tom freaking Cruise. Because see, Tom Cruise is old school. Tom Cruise is old school. And Tom Cruise, he understands what it means to entertain in the old school way. This stuff with, C see, CGI is cheating. Because when you see something, it's like, oh, someone with just a clever computer, press a few buttons and boom, here we go. There is nothing magical about, that, about CG. So when I look at Avatar, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll watch it because it's James Cameron, but there's nothing magical about that. You know, there is no like, how do they do that? Like, well, they just press a few computers. But when you look at the plane thing, they, they, there is an effort when you look at what they did in this plane stuff. There's an, there is an effort there. That it seems that somebody has really, really gone in and put in a proper effort um, as to how to m make plain dog fighting for real, bro. I can't look at um, plain battles the, the same way again. I can't because they change everything. And for me, this is great because I told you, like, for me, I'm I'm checked out of MCU. I've I've been reading some reviews of Thor: Love and Thunder. I'm coming anywhere close to that piece of trash. I got done with that piece of crap. Um, Star Wars, Obi Wan series. So Star Wars is trash. MCU is now trash. This is because this is what Dune should have been. What, the impact that this made is the impact that Dune should have made. Where you go to the cinema and it's like, as as you go out, you're like, bro, watch the movie. Like the amount of people I've told go watch this freaking movie, watch this movie. I said, look, because I said to my cousin, bro, well, we're watching this freaking film. No, I said, no, cause we're watching this damn movie because it's you because it's it's a film to be watched specifically in the cinema, and that's the key thing. Specifically with streaming and so forth, they're like, well, I can watch it at home. This is a film made for cinema because I watched it once in theatre. I watched it in IMAX. Woo! Now, I wish you could induct people who talk through cinema. I watched it in, in IMAX. It was great. Amazing sound, amazing screen. The, the scenes were so, so, so pep. I had this freaking couple next to me. And this lady just kept on... This lady was doing a freaking running commentary throughout the film. I was like, okay, can you just shut up? Okay, I, I get it. You're cool. I don't need a freaking running commentary as I'm watching a damn film movies, but it is what it is. I, I hate people that talk through films. But it, it barely it deserved. And um, bro, this thing's still going. This thing, I think it could hit a, a bill five. A bill five. This thing could easily hit a bill five. And the reason why it's happening is because people need something. That's what art is about. Art isn't giving people what they want. 
It's giving people what they didn't think they, they want. You know, people didn't say that, oh, I want real plane fighting and for, for the for the planes also to be real. What people wanted is, hey, I want some nostalgia of, of Top Gun. So they gave you a bit of nostalgia, but they also gave you, oh, we're going to now redefine and show you plain dog fighting unlike anything you've seen in the cinema before. Surprised everyone. I was like, wow, I didn't think I wanted that. I wa and now I want plain dog fighting to always be like that. That's the beauty about movies, man. And for Top Gun Maverick, man, and because I'm such a huge Tom Cruise fan, fully deserved. And for me, maybe what we're now going to see is, because, bro, we know Mission Impossible, Dead Red Reckoning, Part 1 is coming out next summer. It's just so funny that it took a Tom Cruise to pretty much take down an MCU and show you a better form of blockbuster than the piece of trash, lazy trash, we get from the freaking LCU.